I'm going to show you how to use an IV pump. Open your tubing. When you open tubing for an Alaris pump, it's going to have a blue cover right here over this soft squishy part. You can just remove that. It's just to protect it. You can throw it away. You can take off these paper things. Just like with primary tubing that you already know, you're gonna spike your bag, fill up your drip chamber, and then prime your tubing all the way through to the end. Once you get it primed down to the end, close your roller clamp. Now tiny little bubbles in the tubing are okay, but if you have a big space, continue to prime over the sink or into a garbage can. But be especially careful that you don't have any air bubbles in, in this soft area. This is the only area that the pump can see, and if it ever beeps that there's air in the line, this is where the air is. Now a little trick is to load the tubing into the pump before you turn the pump on, because once you turn the pump on and you open the door to this channel, it's going to beep at you, and we don't like that. So we'll just leave it off. To open the door, lift up the latch, swing it open. To load the pump, you take this blue part and you slide it into this blue area right here. And it kind of clicks into place. Now for the top of the tubing, you can either carefully slide it in right there which takes three seconds, or you could do the method that takes zero seconds, and you can just stretch the tubing above the door and then close the door and just let it kind of dangle there. So once your tubing is loaded, turn your pump on right here on this brain area. It's first gonna ask if, you're, if it's a new patient or not, so it can retain the old settings. If it's a new patient, press yes. Then it's gonna ask for a patient ID entry. You may be scanning your patient or you may be entering on the keypad their hospital number for record keeping. And then press confirm. Then it's going to ask which channel you want to use. You may have multiple channels attached to your pump. And in order to choose the channel, you have to press the soft key on the channel itself rather than the soft key that corresponds to this A. This is a safety mechanism, so that if I had several channels, I actually have to go to the channel and say, this is the one I'm programming. So I really like this feature. Press channel select on the channel. Then it's going to come up with a guardrail drug library. Always, always use that. This has medications, even just basic IV fluids programmed into it. Ooh, this is the silence button, it's your friend. And it's gonna have hard parameters so that you don't make medication errors if you use it. So choose your guardrail drug library, choose your medication, they're listed by alphabetical order. Um, once you choose your medication, it's going to ask you what rate you want to infuse your fluid at. And so according to the order or according to the math that you did, enter the rate, and then it's going to say VTBI, which stands for volume to be infused. And so depending on how much you're hanging, enter the appropriate volume to be infused. And then once you're ready to run it, unclamp, flush your IV and attach your tubing to your patient. And then um, there will be a little, a little word that says start right here and then you press this button right here and it will start flowing and then just verify right here in this window that you have the correct fluid running at the appropriate rate and last thing always double check your drip chamber and make sure that yes you are getting drops and it looks like the appropriate rate and that's how you program an iv pump <laughs>